Well, nearly two weeks ago, a routine worship service never ended. Since then, a full-blown revival has taken Asbury University by storm. And while some have traveled miles to get to the little town of Wilmore, some of the residents already here are ready for those visitors to head home. Inside Hughes Auditorium continue to be packed. So have been the streets of this small town. Everything's just kind of clogged up. Katie Coogan lives just down the road from Asbury University, where the revival is nearing its 13th day. But the revival now considered over capacity. Well, you can't park anywhere close to the grocery store at all. She's not alone. Multiple other people in the town we spoke with shared similar views. They're not against the revival. They just don't like how this has impacted their community. University Communications Director Abby Lobb says they have heard from the community. People overwhelmingly have been gracious. However, we realize that, you know, it's been difficult. We know there's been noise. We know there's been traffic. So, yeah, we don't want to discount those concerns. Students have been impacted, too. It is a lot and it's been hard to keep up on academics and investing in where God wants me to invest. The impact on the community and their students, combined with the previously planned event Thursday, have helped lead to a change in course. The revival will end Thursday evening, with the public allowed in one last time Monday. We've really come to see that this is not a sustainable thing to continue with having thousands of visitors. Um, but it is going to be a relief to get back to our small town life and also just be able to um, get to the places that we need to get to. Come Thursday, will it be more a sense of relief or more a sense of, I'll miss this? Depends on what student you ask. Me, I'll miss it. I'll miss it. Despite the revival ending, they hope the spiritual movement will live on. In Wilmore, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News.